right, good morning. We are in San Diego, California at Sony Camera Camp. Today, we got the Sony ZV E10 Mark II. This is Sony's new APS-C camera that they just announced yesterday. And the plan today is to use it all day today, see how it holds up. I personally shoot on the FX3, which is full frame, so it's gonna be interesting to see how an APS-C camera is again. But also, we're gonna see just how powerful this camera is. It's a tiny camera, but it packs a punch. 4K60 shoots 422 10-bit S-Log3, which is what we're gonna be shooting all day in. It has a bunch of AI features. It's basically if the FX30 and the ZV E1 had a baby, and this is pretty much what that is. But we have till 6.30 today because these are loners. By 6.30, that's when we gotta return all the gear, so we gotta try to do as much as we possibly can. It is already 9.30. I did wake up pretty late today. I've actually been here in San Diego for the past two days. I'm gonna be releasing a longer extended cut vlog of the entire camera camp experience, so make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned for that. Sony gave us a cool bag, we were on a yacht. There's tons of creators that we met here, but today is all about the ZV E10. Mark II. So they actually have a bunch of gear that creators could come in and borrow for the day. The first thing I do want to do is go to the gear checkout and get a different lens. So let's go. All right, so I ended up picking up the 16 to 55, but I forgot this is a full frame lens. So I think this is the equivalent to like a 24 to 60 something. Now, I think we can finally just switch this camera and all the footage that you're gonna see for the rest of the video is on the ZV E10 Mark II. All right, this is officially the ZV E10 Mark II footage. Doesn't look too bad. We're shooting S-Log3 4K 422 10 bit. So hopefully it looks pretty similar to what we were shooting on on the FX3, just in APS-C. What we got cooking here, Joe? We're doing a little glam bot, kind of like on the red carpet. Oh, you're next? Yeah. Hey. Okay. Say some inspirational. Yeah, yeah. So the bird. I can't do it, bro. About to do a glam bot. Cut to me whipping my camera around in one second. Two. <laughs> <laughs> I missed the flip. Three, two, one. Action two. There it is. Yes. Yes. Oh, that was beautiful. That was nice. Shout out to Sleepy Joe. All right, we're now filming everything with the onboard camera mic in the front direction. You'll probably hear the weed whacker in the background. Interested to see how it sounds now that we're facing this way. Can you hear the weed whacker? Can you not? I've used the onboard microphone on the ZV-E1 before, but not on this one. We won't be using the onboard microphone all day. I'm going to put on the ECM V10 or ECM E10. I, I don't know which one it is, but we'll try that out. Oh, oh, hey, hey, oh. All right, we're doing a day in the life of the ZV E10 Mark II. What do you think of uh, this camera so far? Honestly, so far, the camera is actually more impressive than I thought it would be. I think it's perfect for someone who's kind of, you know, maybe they've been shooting on a smartphone or iPhone or kind of like a camera that doesn't have an interchangeable lens and they're looking to upgrade to something new. So um, for around a thousand bucks, I don't really think there's a better option. It has a lot of great features, great looking footage. Um, yeah, it's a good deal. Buy that camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so a big thing okay. about camera camp uh, is they really want to get you, user bye. feedback from the creators that use Sony products. And that's what we're headed to do right now. We're going to go do a group feedback session i'm assuming on the zve 10 mark ii feedback wish list feedback feedback yeah feedback, feedback. yes there's water oh, so yeah. refreshments oh 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 we're the most annoying people <laughs> I've never been in a focus group. I feel like we're on Impractical Jokers. I can't even focus right now. We're in the Sony feedback session. I'm shooting on a Sigma lens. I don't even own a camera. <laughs> we started the day at 9 a.m. It is now 11.11, and the battery is at 56%. Make a wish. All right, we just finished the feedback session. Gonna be honest, I didn't have much to say regarding this specific camera. We had a lot of gripes with the FX3, wanting open gate. We want the vertical display to come to the FX3. 
just little things. So it did last an hour long. I think it was a very proactive conversation. I think well worth the time. But now it is lunchtime. What you got? I don't know, bro. Okay. All right, we just ate lunch. Quick battery check. We're at 41%. It's been three hours since we started, and we're already less than halfway drained with the battery. What are your thoughts on that? I don't know. Might not cut it. <laughs> hey, at least they Make sure you use code SEDLONG. Oh, let's go. Uh -huh. In this the Fortnite knows. item shop. Not me. I ran it out once. Johnny, what'd you think of the learn and share experience? It was good. A lot of the people were sharing, a lot of people were learning. I felt like I was learning and I didn't share anything. So. But now we're getting on a shuttle. I think we're gonna do, do a uh, sushi making class. Um, battery check, 26%. Quick update, we decided not to do sushi. <laughs> All right, so me and Joe are just gonna walk around. This is our first camera camp and so far, it has been pretty cool. I feel like I have not been talking to as many creators as I would have liked, but I still think that this has been a successful trip. Yeah, you know, all the cool edits aside, turns out we're still kind of shy, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it is what it is. You live and you learn. Oh, that is the shuttle, the sushi that we just decided not to go on. So since we're not going on the little sushi retreat, we're just gonna chill here. But I do wanna test out some of the Cine Tone, Cine Vlog profiles and see how they hold up. Uh, if you're not into S-Log3, I'm sure you wanna figure out better ways to make your videos look good. And these are built into the camera to kind of simulate different effects, I guess. So let's see what it looks like. Dude, it looks pretty good. So a big gripe that I've noticed that people have with this camera is that it doesn't have in-body image stabilization, but it does have active steady shot and honestly does not look that bad. Here's a clip of me following Joe crossing the street. It's not terrible. You crop in a little bit, you still get a smooth shot. All right, battery check. It's 343. We started the day at 9 a.m. 9%. I think we should go to the gear checkout and swap out, get a new battery. Such an idiot. Mm. All right, that is pretty much our time with the ZV E10 Mark II. It's actually time to go return this thing. This thing has been surprisingly a beast of a camera for what it is. For being this small and being able to shoot 422 10 bit S3 is pretty insane. It did pack a punch. Honestly, this just feels like a mini version of the ZV E1, the only difference being APS-C. So, honestly, I would recommend this if you are looking to make the jump from shooting on your phone to something a little bit more advanced where you could have interchangeable lenses. And if you have a little bit more money, personally, I would just go with the ZV E1 just because it's full frame, but this is a pretty good beginner camera. So, let's go bring this back. Oh wait, what is that? 